I have a prayer journal that I write all my prayers in. Some have been crossed off and answered, which is always a good reminder that God answers prayers. I was super broken. Um, it was abuse that I went through as a child, really, so. And he took my innocence, and so I always felt like, um, just there was something wrong with me. I met a gal and we became roommates. We decided to move in together. And she had a boyfriend that came over one night and he um, brought meth over. Uh, it got later, I drank more. By the time that it was presented to me, I tried it and as soon as I tried it, I loved it. I was hooked right from the beginning. I was so unhappy that I thought I was gonna kill myself. And so I tried to cut my wrists. Um, I was in prison in Idaho for grand theft. While I was in prison, a friend of mine had told me about Hope Place. When I walked through the door at Hope Place, I told them I was hungry and they gave me some food. When you're in prison or in jail and you ask for food, they don't give it to you unless it's time to give it to you. And so me saying that I was hungry or just mentioning that I was hungry and her saying, oh, well, we'll give you something to eat right away like that. I mean, I figured I had to wait until the next meal time. I didn't even think that they were gonna actually give me something to eat right then. And so she went in the kitchen and found something for me to eat, warmed it up and brought it out to me. And it just meant a lot. God loves me, like he loves me just the way I am right now. I don't have to be anything else but who I am. Understanding that and knowing that he is, um, you know, not just God, but he's like Abba, he's my daddy, he's, he made me. I'm perfect, I'm perfect Christy in his eyes, you know? I don't have to be anything else. That's when things started to change for me.